Oh, hello everybody. Just uh, watching the pigs play. They're having great fun. They love it around here. Anyway, today we have to do quite a bit of work. We're going to actually build the BGA. Now this is going to be a fantastic thing to do because it means we can bring in quite a bit of money. I'm going to buy it straight away because then I can see how much money the silage is going to be worth and then I know how much to actually invest into the, the silage when we're making it. For example, whether or not we should look into buying an auto stacker or something further down the line. So yeah, just going to head over to where we're going to be placing it. The rest of the yard is probably going to be just left as the dirt. Um, I might even be stacking some bales neatly in the yard area. But yeah, overnight we actually generated quite a bit of money from the placeables. It does mean that there's going to be some work that has to be done to the greenhouse, for example. Water, manure, uh, the usual stuff. But if we go into... Uh, would it be silos? Yes. A small BGA costing £35,000. Now, I did have a good think about the placement of this, and obviously most of the work is at the front here. The little fill point on the side will be for digestate, uh, which we can spread on the fields. So the only thing which was a concern was how level the ground is, and it's going to slope away towards the lake. So it, it really wants to be sort of up here as much as possible, I would say. Uh, it can be rotated a bit. It doesn't have to be square, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it is round. Uh, I think probably about there. Should be fine. How much is that going to cost? Yeah, there is a bit of terrain and thing, but overall, not too much. So I'm quite wary of the spout to fill the tankers. Okay, let's just take a look at that. It looks good. It looks very good. Yeah, going to tidy this up because obviously this is the uh, the stubble from the previous crop. Oh, that's quite nice. It's actually combined the concrete from the shed to the new concrete. And yeah, we'll have no issues filling up from that pipe just there. So this is good. Yeah, it's turned out really well. So it should have opened up a new cell point on here, hopefully. Yep, the biogas plant. How much is it going to be? How much better is it going to be? Basically twice the price. That's that's made it worthwhile. In fact, I think 202 is uh, surprisingly good. I'm not too sure if it was as high as that when I used the, uh, the vehicle shop to sell the silage. But 400, I think that's a flat rate as well, so it doesn't actually change. Unless I'm mistaken. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to spend a bit of money here landscaping, something which I've not actually done yet on the survival challenge, but I can do it. It's, it's a feature which is available to me. It's going to cost us a bit, but I think probably have a nice concrete pad, maybe here. I will just think about this as I go and hopefully I'll make the right decisions. we go. So there is a bit of an obvious uh, divide here. So maybe eventually we'll be able to concrete the whole of this area, which will make it blend in much better. But for now, since money is tight, we're going to have to just go with that. And I'm very happy with it. We can stack bales here. We can even put a shed here if we wanted to. And it's also going to enable me to tidy the place up much easier. It, it's going to be uh, easier to make it look neat, which will be either at the end of this video or in a future video the mass tidy up. So anyway, what we need to do is drop off the windrow and I need to start baling. We have so much to bale. We can afford the wrapper even with the small amount of money we have left. But I think buying the BGA marks the start of a big change for the farm. I think it's going to start to really look different in the next few weeks. It's taken long enough. This series has been going since mid-summer, and the rest of the farm looks similar. There's not been many obvious changes. 
the other change which I need to do uh, with the landscaping tool is to put in some roads that'll be coming really soon uh, yeah so the tractor is all serviced nicely but we do need some diesel we might have enough I think we do so yeah there's no variable bell capacity mod because I sort of consider that as taking the easy option it does however mean there's going to be a serious amount of bales so I know I'm going to regret it immediately but I don't want to be criticised for making the survival challenge too easy it is supposed to be a challenge on the plus side well I guess it's on the negative side actually but um, yeah the field wasn't fertilised so there's not as much grass here as there could have been also I have switched off crop growth so the grass doesn't start to grow over what we have already uh, rode up once the field is built we can continue allowing it to grow it has actually grown a bit that must have been before I switched it off but it's fine we can clearly see where the swaths are ok so that's another half a bale I suppose yeah it's not it's not filling up amazingly fast it's just right really and I think in the future it would make sense to use a loading wagon and put it into a pit but for now I'm not too sure our loading wagon isn't that big and it's a lot of going backwards and forwards We are almost there and it's going very well. I don't think we have a silly amount of bells, I think it is just right, it's going to be very manageable and we're going to be able to get them cleared fairly quickly. Wrapping is still going to be slow because the, although yeah there's not a silly amount of bells there's still a lot of bales but it's fine because these are going to be worth so much money it doesn't matter if it takes a whole episode to get it done. This could really get this farm properly on its feet. Because I've been doing okay, but it could be better, and this is what we really need. See, as soon as I start talking, I always lose focus. I don't think I missed a thing, actually. I didn't miss anything. That top piece, as I said yesterday, or was it yesterday? Depends when this video went out. Probably not, actually. Uh, if my prediction's correct, it's Sunday today, but I could have got that horrifically wrong. But yeah, as I was saying, the top piece doesn't belong to us, so that is not an area that we can bail. We'll just have to allow that to rot away. And we've just got a tiny piece left to do. The first lap of the headland and those two very small swaths there. One model which I do use, and I have to admit to it because it's well, it's been pretty obvious in the time lapse, is the mod which allows you to increase the speed that you can work at. Because each machine has a set speed that you can work at and if I was to keep it at that, for example with the bailing today the time lapse would have been just horrendously long so I did increase the speed to the recommended speed of 15 miles per hour it does give you a recommended speed obviously we could go full speed, 26 miles per hour, but I don't want to do that that would be silly but that's just really to make the video flow better 
I guess you could argue it makes it easier, but only only because of a bit of time that saves. It doesn't help us financially. Okay. Almost there. I like that you can also see the bell being created. You can see the bell in there. It gradually gets bigger, something which would be much more apparent on a time lapse. I can't really time lapse looking behind me though. But you can see the bell spinning. Yeah, it's not going to be too obvious at this stage. Maybe when it gets to about 95%, like now. Yeah, it, it would definitely be apparent in a time lapse. That is a good feature though, to be able to see that. So we have in the tank 13.8 litres, which means we haven't used too much in this uh, doing this job. We wouldn't have run out. But my next thing to do is definitely to refill. I don't think it would be a huge problem if I did run out on here because we'd just pick up a can and would walk over to the trash room and refill it. You don't have to worry about bleeding it or anything, with it being a diesel. Well, I mean, because it's a game, obviously, with the diesel you can get air in the system. Right, okay, there we go. So not enough just to get the final bailout, but that is fine. How many bells have we created? Quickly, if you want to have a guess, think of a number. I'm going to say 60. 45, oh nice. So we have 45 bells to wrap. That's going to be good fun. I think the first few will be fine, and then after that we'll probably be going a bit out of our minds. <laughs> uh, no, it's all good. And I've been meaning to cut this, because that is going to be in the way. But I still think, for what we're doing today, using the baler and a wrapper is better than using the loading wagon and the silage pit. If we had a track put in and also a bigger loading wagon, then yeah, that would definitely be worth it. It would be faster. Uh, yeah, fuel. It's been a long time since I've got a fuel gauge so low in FS. I have run out before, I think, once. Not a problem if you have a mobile fuel tank. This all seems very expensive around here. Yeah, you can see things just look out of place now. I need to have such a good tidy up. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a job for the big barrel. There we go. Now um, I'll get a load of comments saying you didn't turn your engine off. Uh, yeah, so if I go and put this baler back in the shed, we'll go and pick up the bell wrapper. We have £4,913. I think it's in the region of three, so 3000 it should be manageable, we should be able to buy it. And yeah, I'm going to use the Matthew Ferguson again. It's just the most suitable tractor for the job. But when I do come to do the, the huge tidy up, it's going to be satisfying and it's just going to look so tidy. Which is part of the reason why I unintentionally make a mess first. So it looks good afterwards. <laughs> uh, okay, right, that didn't really work, did it? There's no excuse for making a mess. Okay, I'll see you over at the store. Right, quick change of plan there. I looked at the price and it's actually worth more than I thought it was. Um, I think I must have looked at a different one and I got confused. But the one I'm looking for is actually a 3.1. It's not trailed. So I've had to bring some soybeans. These are the soybeans we harvested in the previous episode. But it, it probably won't be enough to buy a new one. I have to buy it used and then repair it. Yeah, definitely not enough to buy a new. I'm also interested to see what the best way of moving them is. You'd think just the front loader. But it comes down to the price of that, 39000 Okay, yeah, definitely front loader. Uh, and it's this one here. You see, these ones are very tempting. But I think I've used them before. And it would be interesting to try a 3.1. I don't know what's better. I've no idea. But yeah, second hand, 6900 so we still can't even buy that. However, 
sneaky trick here. If I just wait until 10 o'clock, our payment should come in for the placeables. That is sneaky. 9.59. We have 6.722. And we now have 7.722. <laughs> okay, that was really sneaky. So now we can buy this one here used. Uh, yes, uh, 6920. We should have enough money to repair it as well. I am hoping. £802. So I'll get that picked up. We'll head back to the yard. We'll get it through the workshop. And then we'll start doing some wrapping. Ugh. Just look at it. Well, I'm sure we can spruce that up. That's seen some uh, some use, that has. There we go. It's on board. I noticed that 4D Modding recently put a baler on, a New Holland baler. It's a Quadrant baler, I think. I think. I don't know, maybe it's a Heston baler. But it looks really good because it's not too expensive. It's in our price range. So that could be a very strong candidate for the replacement. Or maybe just a new baler. We might have uh, a round baler and a square baler. I think it was £17,000, which isn't too hard for us to achieve, especially when, once we've sold these silage bells. Uh, so that would be that would be great, especially for straw. Not so much silage. Oh, look at all the space here. It makes the yard feel so much bigger. Well, it is bigger, but it makes the whole area seem bigger. Right, so I should be able to get to that just by using Workshop Tabber, hopefully. There it is. Uh, £64 to repair, that's not too bad. And also, because we're not running Seasons, uh, it should look like new. With the exception of some dirt. We can soon saw that out. Yeah, so that BGA is going to bring us the majority of our money for the next few weeks. It's going to be so good. Uh, yeah, I drop the trailer off and then we will get it attached and we'll get all the wrapping done. Bit of Christmas wrapping. As I said, I've not used one of these before, I don't think. So seeing the 3.1 work is going to be interesting. Okay. Yes, completely forgot about having to load it up ourselves. Get the uh, the front loader and the fit. Or maybe the Ferguson. Maybe I should have just got the one from 4D modding. Despite using it before. It would be so much faster. Anyway, we'll try it. Right, the chosen bale. The first one to be wrapped. The other good thing about doing this is it's just immediately converted to silage instead of having to wait for it to ferment. Uh, did I put it on the right way? Don't know. <laughs> well, it accepted it, so that's, that's good enough. Yeah, I don't mind this approach. It's possibly slower, but I've not done it before. don't know if it automatically unloads. That is going to slow it down. Yeah. Okay. That's an issue. So which way do we put it on? This way? I'd say the other way. Yeah. Definitely the other way. So there we go. We have our first silage bale. I could put that straight into the processor and get some money, but we'd probably get paid at midnight, like the normal BGA.
Well, as you can see, it's succeeding. It's, I guess, slower than before, but it is slower. The actual wrapping is slower, but the difference is we are wrapping and stacking at the same time. Whereas before we would just do the, the wrapping, we would have to go around picking them all up. So there's positives and negatives with, with all of them. I'm having to tab through each time just to be able to remove that one. If it was auto unloading, that would be fantastic, but then they would still be in the way, I suppose. The bales. So I've almost finished for today. Uh, I had a good idea. If there's quite a few of us who think, oh dear, that didn't go well. If there's quite a few of us which think that it would be a good idea to change the wrapper for a faster one, then we can do, because I have enough bales here to make quite a substantial amount of money, so we can buy... I'm not going to say a better one, because I really do like this one, but, you know, just a faster one. A trailed one which can actually pick up the bales. I think there is quite a lot to be said for this one. Right, I've got space for one more bale on there. Uh, let's just see here. I do have one more bale, but I think it's, it's, yeah, it's going to knock them both off, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, um, we'll get that put onto there, and then we'll call it a day. But that, like I said, there's 45 bells in total. How many have we actually done? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. There's going to be 18. So, not half, but it hasn't been too difficult to get to this stage. But as I said, please do just post down below if you want me to take the faster approach. It's fine with me. It actually doesn't bother me either way. I have enjoyed doing this because it's been different. I, I don't think I've ever done this before. I'm sure I haven't. Okay. Um, because of the way I've stacked these, I'll just keep one on the fork. Oh no, don't do that. That looks good enough. Put a few straps over. And we get it attached to the back of the tractor. I have to remove the rear weight. If for some reason it doesn't attach with it, I thought it would do. That's a good load. So I'm actually going to uh, sell these in the next episode because I don't think we, like I said, I don't think we get paid until midnight. I will put the one on the fork into the process just to confirm this, but there's no point in, in doing it now. We'll sell the whole lot together and then we should have an absolutely huge amount of income. £400 for every thousand litres. I've not done the calculation, but it must be quite good. I've just run over a tree. Okay, here we are. Oh look, I missed a bit. How did I achieve that? I can get it tied up. Uh, so yeah, let's just put this in. Actually, can we put it just in front? I don't know if this one has that feature. No. So an auto stack wouldn't be ideal. It's processed it, and yeah, money will be at midnight. So, there we go. I really do hope you've enjoyed the progress of the farm so far. The processes involved have been very enjoyable. Been able to use lots of different machinery. And yeah, this is, I'm sure, the turning point. It's really starting to change. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.